First off, I'd like to talk about hand and arm positions. This is really uh, important to me because I know when I came off the road with New Kids on the Block and I was doing a lot of fusion gigs and stuff, it um, really affected me um, solo-wise and everything else, my stamina. And I was having problems in my shoulders and my arms and stress and headaches and everything else. And before I went to a doctor, I decided to let me try to change up some of the things I was doing. Where I was, I was used to be playing like this, I changed my wrist position uh, so it's as straight as possible, which is what you want, because you don't want to run into tendonitis and everything else, which I had a lot of colleagues that did. So instead of being here and playing everything, uh, when I do finger techniques and stuff, you know, it looks cool, but it's not really, it's, in the long run, you're gonna run into problems. So I changed it to down here, which worked out fine because my muting and my uh, palm muting and mute picking technique, that uh, falls right into place, and so does the thumbing. So when using the fingers, all I do is go right here instead of right up here. So. I wanna clean the sound. A more tighter sound, I'll go t closer to the bridge. the sound but my my wrist is pretty pretty straight there's a little curve to it that's the only technique where my wrist is really bent now, all the techniques that I'll be showing later on in this series can be reached uh, but can be used right from this position from these positions right here and it's all, all right here so later on I'll be talking about double thumbing that's right here uh, mute pick, um, palm muting. That's right here. Mute picking. Nothing moves. It's right there. Uh, thumbing, uh, just uh, as far as thumbing and plucking, which is old school. And then for you, slapping. Now, these days, they call it slapping. It's still, still there. I'm just not leaning my arm, uh, my forearm, on the bass. But... But my wrist is straight the whole time. So all these techniques. So it was just that one adjustment, and it helped me out. Now I have no stress in my arms and my shoulders and stuff, and everything's fine. So just the slightest um, adjustment adjustment made everything that much better instead of bending the wrist and all that stuff. Just, you know, just making sure my wrist is straight in the techniques that I use, that makes all the difference. So that's very important because I was affected by that. <laughs> greatly at one point in time, so if that can help you out, cool.